and in the city, rep your affiliation at Rival Day. It's time to crown the new champions of the city. So I want to see every beast, viper. One of Orlando's many lakes. It's a gorgeous day in the city beautiful. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, an April Fool's Day edition. Glad to have you with us. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. All right, a moment to check out some numbers for Fred Van Vliet. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. And let's go straight over to the sideline for a report before they tip off. Hey, Allie. VA technology is moving faster than ever. The new thing? Collectible highlights trading online. The players are taking notice. Shooting guard CJ McCollum said, quote, a lot of players are inquiring about it. I've grown closer to the non-fungible tokens, trying to figure out what moments I should buy. Guys, he's a believer. Boy, he is a big thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting there, Allie. And Grant, these teams both stacked in the front court. Stacked indeed, B.A. The versatility demanded in today's game, revolutionizing those positions. Now, it's not enough to just control the paint. You've got to do more. Now let's take a look at Toronto's starting lineup. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is down low with Siakam. And it's Ananobi in at the three, the small forward. And for Orlando, they've got Anthony. Wendell Carter is out there with Wagner. Then it's Mo Bamba, and it's Suggs in at the two. And the Magic start out with a ball. Now Anthony. Here's Bamba. Banked it in off the glass. Well, Mo Bamba, if he gets that kind of position, turn the lights out. And it's Van Vliet off the drive. Rebound by the Magic. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. It's stolen by Trent. And now the Raptors on the break. Here's Siakam. And that one drops That's for him. Siakam. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. The ball's knocked loose. And he drops in the layup well, off the glass. Is. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Anthony with it. Siakam covering. Out on his own on the break. And then Siakam with the jam. And that is what we call starting and finishing the break. Pascal Siakam. Boy, is he fast up the floor. Pass to Bamba. That shot off. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Their last encounter in Toronto. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. Siakam, no good. And the shot goes. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And another fast break opportunity for the Raptors. Here we go. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. That is a combination of length and defensive instincts. Send it back, Mo Bamba. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Baseline jumper with the putback. Great positioning on the putback. Barnes has got his second bucket on the night. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. They're having a hard time stopping this run. And B.A. can't afford to keep coming up in Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. And it's the Raptors with the ball after the basket by Orlando. 
Uh, Van Vliet Ooh. has proven more than capable as a legitimate three-point threat. Knocks down the jump shot there. Anthony, the pass to Carter. Perfect night so far, two for two. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. To the inside, Carter, count it. Carter's got six points. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Adenobi passes to Siakam. Goes up on the wing. The rebound by Carter. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Pass to Bamba. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Trent. It's tough to get open in this league. And when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. And Doris looking at Cole Anthony. The potential he has is exciting. A guard who does a little bit of everything. That's right. And the energy he provides. That's huge to a team. And it doesn't matter if he's in the starting lineup, if he's coming off the bench. His instinct is, I am going to make an impact. Now here's Anthony. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. And the basket by Trent. So it's Orlando now. Seven-point differential. Anthony against Van Vliet. Here's Siakam. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from Bamba. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And he can't bank that one in. The Raptors have gotten 8 of 16 attempts to fall. And it's Trent penetrating. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. For Orlando, they've gone 5 of 8. Solid opening quarter for them. Pass to Suggs. And an Obi finds Trent. Uneasy easy two on the layup. He has six. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Raptors. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Here's Anthony following the bucket by the Raptors. They're running. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Van Vliet's got his third bucket of the night. And early on, they've been on a tear, just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been time solid time from the opening time tip, out. and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Orlando calls timeout. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get loud for your 407. on D. 13-point lead. Pass to Suggs. Here comes Toronto on the push. Rips down the breakaway slam. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And it's the magic with the ball. The Raptors making their last shot. 
Back to Wagner. Anthony right side to stop the run. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Trent. And he drives in. Here's Siakam. And the layup is good off the glass. Siakam's got six points. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Here's Anthony. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Trent goes in over Suggs. Not enough on that one as it misses. Orlando's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wagner. And the Raptors with some changes. Achua comes in for Ananobi. And Makai Luke subbed in for Trent. And for the Raptors, their shooting has been impressive. 54% so far in the first. Here's Van Vliet. Good on the baseline, Jay. Nine points in the game. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. Knocked loose. Pass to Anthony. Inside. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Anthony. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Siakam. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Here's Lopez. Shot's blocked. And they're able to recover. I'll tell you, Siakam has the ability to intimidate offensive players. How about that one? Send it back. Ross, he's checked in for Orlando. Fultz comes in for Anthony. Birch, he's checked in for Toronto. Flynn comes in for Barnes. Pass to Fultz. Six on the shot clock. Ross for three. No good there. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Here's Birch. Count it. One for one to start the game. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. Here's Lopez. After the basket by Toronto. Harris passes to Lopez. And rejected. Three on three. Here's Achua. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Raptors lead by 18. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And Toronto calls time here. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Here's Toronto with the ball. They're on a 20-7 run. Here's Van Vliet. Here's Birch. Lays it up and banks it in. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. The Magic have got eight of 15 shots to go. 
And now the Raptors on the break. The finish! And Hurt slams it in. They're really in control on both ends of the floor right now, forcing turnovers and finding easy points, while the other guys struggle to keep up. Orlando has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Timeout, timeout. Orlando calls timeout. And no doubt, coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Hamptons checked in for Fultz. And Orlando has possession. Here's Flynn. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. <laughs> Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Here's Hampton. Pass to Akiki. To win the drought. Counted good. The Raptors shooting an incredible 61% to start this game. Here's Van Vliet. It's hauled in by the Magic. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Hard to think of a player who's transformed more than Van Vliet. Undrafted, spent some time in the G League. Now he's a primary catalyst for his team. A true all-around talent. Van Vliet gives you the big things and all the little things as well, Grant. Well, you talk about the points, the assists, but look at the rebounding and the steals and the charges he takes. I mean, he's a glue guy and a star. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he knocks down the first one. And Harris drops them both. And here's Van Vliet. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And it was a big game for him at the defensive end as well. He never stopped pressuring the basketball, coming up with one steal after another. And so here is Orlando. The Raptors making their last shot. Hampton. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. Van Vliet against Ross. And the basket by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got 13. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. All by himself. Here's Flynn. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Orlando has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Pass to Akiki. Back to Hampton. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Here's Mikhailuk. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. And we know it's still early, but they're getting destroyed on the boards. And Orlando shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. Pass to Hampton. And here's Harris, looking to win the run. Buries it from three. He's got seven. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. 
Here's Achua. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Robin Lopez. <laughs> no debate there. He the got him. Raptors, Precious Achua at the line for two. Shoot two. That one misses. He hits the second from the line. Orlando has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Harris outside. To the middle. Here's Okiki. Blocked! And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. Young, he's checked in for Achua. Thaddeus Young. Forty-four seconds left in the first. And Young with the block. Well, terrific reach on the block. Thaddeus Young stretches out well for a big-time rejection. And there's the bucket. Thaddeus Staying Young. with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. It's Hampton on the wing. He's guarded by Birch. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Raptors. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. Ananobi comes in for Fred Van Vliet. OG Ananobi. Toronto's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Magic. Magic ball. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Outside Ross. Got a piece of it. Outside Ananobi. Shoots over Ross. We're at the end of the first, and what a blowout already in this one. Raptors out in front, running away with it. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And the veteran on this magic team, Terrence Ross, year six in Orlando, and still grateful to be part of the franchise. T Mac, Shaq, Penny, you know, even Dwight and them, you know, it's just a great city to be in. You know, they have great fans here, and uh, they made some historic runs here, so it's exciting to, you know, be somewhere there's a lot of history and there's a lot of guys that come through here, so uh, I'm just happy to be a part of the organization. Grant Ross is a great resource for all these young players. He really is, B.A. And he's comfortable in a complimentary role, too. A decade in the league, and he's still earning his keep. Magic foul. R.J. We welcome you back to his second first. quarter action. First, Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Malachi. And a very convincing performance from the Raptors so far. Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is Take sent break. back in Take your break. direction enough Three times, shots. it can certainly have an impact on your mind. So for the Raptors right now, OG Ananobi out there with Chris Boucher. Then it's Thaddeus Young. Then there's Malachi Flynn. And it's Makai Luke in at the two spot. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics, and that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. Okay. 
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, Orlando shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here comes Toronto on the push. And Young slams it in. Superb in the open court. Picks the right routes to run. Thaddeus Young, really good decision making. And here are the Magic now. Pass to Akiki. Down low. Here's Lopez. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, good whistle there. At the line for Orlando, Robin Lopez taking two shots. First one falls. You know, with Robin Lopez, a career mid-70s free throw shooter, we'll take that any time from the center position. So for the Magic, Carter comes in for Okiki, and Suggs is subbed in for Hampton. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Young, the pass to Ananobi. The three ball. Toronto, the rebound. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. To the paint. And Young with the block. And they'll keep possession. And that one drops. Oh, it took the bump there. Powered through it. Go ahead, Mr. Lopez. I see you. Here's Flynn. He buries it from three. Flynn's got seven. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Knocked away. And he's all alone. And he lays it in on the break. Flynn's got seven now in this quarter. <laughs> it, it all happened in an instant. Turning defense into offense. I love it. Well, just terrific anticipation to force the turnover and ignite the break. Here's Suggs. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Boucher with a double team. Five on the clock. Lopez finds Harris. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. And the big man, Robin Lopez. He's got such great hands, and what a find that time. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Last season, after what was dubbed a historic wave of injuries, the Magic decided it was time to hit the reset button, trading away their veterans for picks and for prospects. This will take some patience, but the front office feels this different path affords them more upside to contend moving forward. Guys? You know, Allie, that's an excellent point. Something to keep an eye on. From 15 feet away, rebounded by Lopez. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Mikhailuk, that one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Well, Thaddeus Young is a team first guy, and if he sees an opportunity to get a teammate a shot, he will deliver it. Here's Suggs. And an OB covering. Back to Harris. Down low. Here's Ross. Oh, nice D from Ananobi. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Shoots from 12. And another he basket for Toronto. Mikhailu. The value of Assisted good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. For Orlando, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Here's Harris. Oh, rejected by out Boucher. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boucher. So for the Magic, Bamba's checked in for Lopez. Wagner comes in for Ross. And Anthony subbed in for Harris. And the Raptors making a change here.
Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Toronto foul. Malachi. Holtz, he's checked in for Orlando. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for your magic. Markel Fultz. Here's Wagner. Now well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Here's Siakam. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And dominating at a mid-major university. Some scouts question Siakam's level of competition during the 2016 draft process. Especially since his numbers were so good. First free throw is good. Also affecting Siakam's draft stock, huh? He was three or four years older than many of his peers. Well, what's interesting is that player evaluation has become such a science. But sometimes the variables can lead you astray, and you have to go by the eye test. Siakam was in that cohort. Siakam hits them both. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Anthony, the pass to Fultz. Now here's Wagner. Had an OB covering. Pass to Bamba. Back to Wagner. Just five to shoot. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Boy, you better keep the seven-footer Mo Bamba away from the cup. What an easy finish. Toronto's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Hook loose. Out of bounds as out of Toronto bounds. keeps possession. Raptors ball. Here's Trent into the lane. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Inside, here's Fultz. Tries again. It's tipped. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. That's just perfect execution. Nice job hustling. And as a result, he gets rewarded with the bucket. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Now here's Fultz. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Wizards in Washington. He didn't make it all about himself. His passing was sharp, and he kept everyone involved. Here's Ananobi, and the ball out of play. The Magic will have it. Now here's Fultz. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the inside. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Uh, make no mistake, Markel Fultz, because of his athletic burst, can score on the interior. That's nicely done. Here's Siakam. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Ananobi. Toronto Bob. Scotty Barnes. And some changes here for the Raptors. Achua's checked in for Ananobi. And Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Flynn. Fred Van Vliet. For Orlando, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Ooh, a good look from Carter. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Carter's got eight points. A skilled big man with a developing jumper. Carter Jr. continues to show what he's capable of. So much potential with that young man. 
in terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. Here's Fultz. After the basket by Toronto. Anthony misses. Left side Barnes. Over Wagner. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Give him eight points now. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Fultz against Trent. Here's Bamba. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Bamba's gotten four this quarter. Boy, it took him a while to warm up, but since the second quarter, he's on fire. Here's Trent. That's short off the rim. And Orlando shooting just around 47% in the second quarter. Wagner is rebounded by Pascal Siakam. Toronto has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Van Vliet misses. So it's Orlando now. Anthony, the pass to Carter. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Achua's got four rebounds now. Siakam, no good. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Barnes against Anthony. Here's Bamba. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on Pascal Siakam. Well, obviously, this is where Mo Bamba is so dangerous. You make a mistake on the defensive end, he's going to take free throws. First free throw is good. Well, Mo Bamba is the prototypical modern NBA big, right? The size combined with the shooting ability. The Magic making a switch here. Okiki's checked in. The Raptors also with a sub. Birch is checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Van Vliet. Kept alive. Achua gets the bucket. Achua's got seven points in the game. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Pass to Bamba. And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. Orlando ball. Here's Fultz. Shot clock at six. Mark gets it to go. Makes him two for five. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And he makes it. Barnes has got four points this quarter. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. And for the Magic, they're shooting 46%, a decent average so far. To the middle. Here's Wagner. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Wagner's got his first basket. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. Gary and the Trent basket Jr. by Trent. And Orlando shooting about 45% during the second quarter. Fultz. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. He's got six. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. One of the keys as a perimeter player is always stay focused through contact. Markel Fultz makes that shot despite the physical contact. Here's Achua, another shot. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. At the line for the Raptors, Precious Achua, taking two shots. Shoot two. Oh. 
That one's off. No good on the second free throw. And here are the Magic now. Knocks it loose. Achua with a steal. He goes up. Achua with the dunk. <laughs> that was a really nice sequence there. Just strong effort at both ends of the floor. And that's exactly what you can control, right? Your desire, your hustle, your will to succeed. Achua with the dunk. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And guys, this is why coaches value playing with pace. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. To the paint. Here's Bamba. And it's Bamba finishing strong. There is an imagination a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Here's Trent. Takes it inside. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. And it's Bamba finishing strong. We know one of the best Bamba. attributes of Mo Bamba is his extraordinary length. Boy, it is a handful for defenders to deal with. Birch controls the rebound and the putback. Birch has got eight points. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. A minute nine left in the second. Tipped away. And another fast break for Toronto. The Raptors are running. Oh, nice D from Fultz. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. Yeah, B.A., playing loose can help you and hurt yeah, you. Trent they really Peters. need to tighten it up. Nice basic one-hander there. Hey, I think he got some extra bounce off the ground on that one. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Here's Van Vliet. He hits again. Seven for 13 and looking confident. Well, just high-quality transition opportunity right there from Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so reliable to make the plays necessary in transition. Now here's Wagner. Off target from three-point range. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field and seems really frustrated. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. They're having very little success right now. And they really could take a different approach, right? Find something that works. Outside Fultz. Pass to Wagner. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. They say it was last touched by yeah, Van Vliet. Raptors substitution. Lopez a dominating first half of play and so far it hasn't been close it's the Raptors running away with this one and we'll see you back here after the break third quarter action in just a bit and now the 2k sports halftime show hey welcome back the first half mercifully coming to a close I'm Ernie Johnson Kenny's here Shaq is here it was a fast pace for Toronto at the outset. Tenacious on both ends of the floor, they took command early with a 13-2 run. They were able to string together a nice set of offensive plays to finish the quarter, making their last four shots. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play, helping take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what you see out there? They played smart, they took their time, and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually get the shot you want. 
but when you lose the ball, you have no control over the destiny. And Shaq, let's get your input on the magic. The shooting percentage they allow is through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the defensive effort. We need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. One guy who's been getting it done is Gary Trent. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. The Raptors shooting an efficient 64%. Excellent. Suggs is out there with Anthony. Then it's Wendell Carter. Then there's Wagner. And it's Bamba in at the center position. That's who's out there for Orlando. Boy, when you watch Fred Van Vliet, now an NBA champion, incredible to think that he went undrafted back in 2016. And that was after what was a tremendous college career. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Jonathan Isaac making his return from that knee injury he suffered in the bubble. Through the grueling rehab, he kept hope, kept the faith, and kept working to come back strong. He said it revealed another level of grit and grind inside of him. And guys, he's determined to come back better than ever. Thanks, Allie. And just look what he did in college. Van Vliet often saved his best play for the biggest games, Doris. Yeah, he did. And that translated to the NBA because he played a key role in the Raptors championship run. He has that clutch gene. He is fearless. And guys, I'm just going to call it. Fred Van Vliet is a winner. And the first one at the line is good. And Toronto calls time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Free throws good from Barnes. Well, Orlando shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Now here's Wagner. Defense is right there. That's tipped. Yet another steal from him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive yeah, end. Yeah, you gotta love it. No hesitation on the break. That's been an advantage for them. Anthony against Van Vliet. From nine feet out. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Here's Toronto now. Ananobi with it. Now Carter defending. Here's Siakam, and Siakam Pascal with the Siakam. slam. Well, Mr. Siakam can elevate well above the rim. Nicely done. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. 
Down low. Bamba, that's good. Bamba's got 14 points for the game. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. They're going old school out there now, working the mid-range part of the floor. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Wagner up top. And it's Orlando with another. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. To the inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Anthony's got four points in the quarter. They've struggled, but hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. That one goes in. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Here's Suggs. Guarded by Trent. Suggs with the bucket. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Here's Van Vliet. And it's good for two. Van Vliet's got 21 points in the game. They couldn't have asked for a better start to the second half. They've been perfect from the field so far. Anthony, it doesn't go for him. And Toronto will come the other way. And there's Van Fleet on the assist by Siakam. 23 points in the game. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Pass to Carter. Three-pointer, Anthony. Rebound by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got four rebounds in the game. Stolen by Carter. Here's Suggs. Second chance effort. And it's Bamba with the bucket inside. Bamba's got 16 points. This is a skilled, hungry offensive rebounder, and Mo Bamba's size and motor make him a problem on the windows. The Raptors have gone a perfect 7-for-7 seven seven and looking strong in this third quarter. And the basket by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got 10 points in just the second half. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Anthony, Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds in the game. Trent, the pass to Van Vliet. So for the Magic, Ross, he's checked in for Bamba. And Hampton is subbed in for Anthony. Flynn, he's checked in for Toronto. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. From the inbound. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Van Vliet's got 12 points now in the quarter. For Orlando, they've gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Inside. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. You love to show a force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. It's good. He's got 18. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Suggs. Uncovered. Siakam pulls down the board. Siakam's got four rebounds now. Here's Barnes. Boom! He damped it straight down. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. I gotta believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. So it's Orlando now. The Raptors making their last shot. Here's Wagner. And that one's in. Nice feed on the play. Wagner's got six. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. Orlando ball. And the Magic making a change here. Okiki's checked in. Juma Okiki. Orlando's going 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. 
to the inside. And it's slammed in by Carter. NBA, the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Good on the bucket. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Here's Hampton. Siakam pulls down the board. Here's Ananobi. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Here's Suggs. Who poked away. And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. The Raptors making a switch here. Makai Luke's checked in. Top Ross to the paint. Okiki dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. You know, he hasn't taken as many shots tonight, but they're still ahead. And that means his teammates are delivering. And even though his offense continues to develop, Grant, Ananobi's defense may be his most important contribution to this team. He has what I call positional versatility. He has great length, and he's light on his feet. And he doesn't have to gamble to be disruptive. Siakam, no good. And the Magic shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Here's Harris. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Pass to Flynn. Back to Barnes. Here's Mikhailuk from outside, off the mark. Well, the Magic shooting has been great at 58% on the third. Okiki, and he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bouts like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. And there's a whistle. That goes on Pascal Siakam. That'll be a second foul of the game. And some changes here for the Raptors. Young comes in for Siakam. And Boucher subbed in for Barnes. Orlando's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Harris on the attack. Pass to Hampton. Down low. Here's Lopez. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. First team foul. Yeah, you know, a skilled free throw shooter for his size. So you love Lopez getting to the line. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Toronto. Something every team strives for is getting points off turnovers. And they've done that in both halves. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight Shoot is crashing two. the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. The free throw drops for Lopez. And Toronto calls Back. time here. Time out. Start it. Where you at, Orlando? Fans, the loudest section gets free t shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. coming on to the court. Come on and get loud for your 407. All right, look who's coming on to the court. Come on and get loud for your 407.
So he picks up just one from the line that time. Toronto's gone just one of three from deep since the break. Here's Flynn. They grab their own miss. Young from long range sinks it from distance. Young's gotten his third basket of the night. I'll tell you, you got to love the way Thaddeus Young can stretch the defense with the long distance shot. No hesitation, total confidence. A monster finish with authority. And he hangs on the rim for a little extra spice. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Ananobi's got nine points here in the second half. Simply crushing it right now. So much more accurate in the second half than he was in the first. Nice shot by Ross. You have to know when to simply catch and shoot, and it serves Terrence Ross very well that time. Here's Mikhailuk. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Harris. To the middle. Outside Ross. Lopez passes to Ross. And again, it's Orlando with a three. You know, how about the big fella making the right play there to create that bucket? Shot from the wing. Here's Boucher. And finished off by Boucher. Oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Here's Hampton. And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. Fultz, he's checked in for Hampton. And Toronto also making a switch. Uh, Chu has checked in. away. Lopez can't hit. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Tips it up. It's good. On the putback. Achua's got 15 points. Giving up second chance buckets. A huge issue for this team. Orlando's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to Akiki. To the inside. Here's Lopez. The short one's on the money. Give him eight points now. You know, that's good hands on display from Lopez right there. Getting it up and down from inside. Here's Young. That shot, no good. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Over to the left wing. Wide open. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Okiki's got six points in the quarter. From the baseline. Young misses. Orlando's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Fultz. 125 left in the third quarter. Here's a Kiki, guarded by Young. And it's Lopez with the jam. You know, they don't have an answer for that. He, you know, Robin is just exerting his will on the inside there. Here's a Chua. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Magic shooting has been excellent so far. Around 56%. Pass to Akiki. Outside Ross. And Orlando again with the bucket. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Elbow shot. Rebound by the Magic. Lopez has got four rebounds now. Oh, and a fast break for the Magic. Nice shot by Ross. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Inside, here's Lopez. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Fultz has got four assists in the game. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. Wing shot on the way. Achua. Tip back in for two. Achua's got 19. There's been no question as to which team is attacking the offensive glass harder. Here's Fultz. 
Second shot opportunity. And the layup good by Lopez. Lopez has got nine points here in the second half. Here's Young. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Ross for three. He can't hit that time. And so it's Toronto making this game a no contest. They poured it on early and they've never let up. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. More 2K action in just a moment. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. So for Toronto right now, they've got Kim Birch, Yuta Watanabe out there with Precious Achua. Then there's Malachi Flynn. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. And it's Birch missing. Harris outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Here's Flynn. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Fultz with it. They double him with a Chua. Down low. Here's Wagner. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, we know Mo Wagner is a sweet shooting big, but right there he says, you know I can get off my feet too. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Well, this guy knows it's his role to get his guys going. Fultz doing a nice job moving the ball. Pass to Achua. Soft touch off the glass. Achua's got four points this quarter. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. And he can't get that one. For Toronto, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. They get it back. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. The Magic have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition nice and easy. Drops one in from the wing. Watanabe's gotten his first bucket of the night. And Orlando shooting an efficient 57% tonight. Now Fultz. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence. Showing right there he can get through the defense. Here's Achua. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lopez. Suggs is checked in for Orlando. For your magic, Jalen Suggs. Here's Flynn. Shoots over Fultz. Misses off the left iron. Here's Suggs. Driving to the basket. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Fultz has got six assists here tonight. The Raptors have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Tries it from 16. And Fultz pulls it down. Fultz has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Suggs. And he banks in the layup. Suggs has got four points in the quarter. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. 18 feet out. Prosdakis with the rebound for Orlando. They've gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Knocks it loose. Here's Flynn. 
Second chance shot, and he gets that one. And this is exactly what he's capable of. He finds different ways to make an impact, this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Pass to Harris. No good on the triple. And for the Raptors, they're shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Here's Birch. And the shot falls short that time. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. Back to Wagner. Ooh, good finish at the rack on the slick feed. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. It's been all Raptors. Pulls it. Pass to Flynn. Over Fultz. Flynn's shot is off. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Goes back up. Hits the front of the rim and out. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Tipped. Here's Birch. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Harris has got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Fultz. He's guarded closely. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. They get it again. Second chance shot. Doesn't go for him. For Orlando, they've gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Suggs with the bucket. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. And you're four on seven. to change it up. It's been all Raptors. Pass to Birch. Over Wagner. And it's Birch missing. Orlando has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And it's Brozdek is missing. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just time one out, pass time more? Oh, Timeout oh. called. The Raptors. Started. Who wants a teacher?
And here are the Raptors now. Watanabe can't get it to go. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Wagner for three. Drains the triple. Wagner's got nine points in the quarter. Well, Mo Wagner, a legit threat from deep. This guy's so good at pulling the trigger when you give him an opportunity. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. The defense making it way too easy for him on that jump shot. He'll take that all night. Orlando's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Outside Fultz, pass to Carter. The 11-footer. Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Flynn over Wagner. He gets hauled in by the Magic. Fultz has got six rebounds here tonight. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. He tries for three. The shot off that time. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Boucher, no good. Orlando has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. To the paint. Here's Carter. He's off on the layup. The Raptors shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Here's Watanabe with the drive. Here's Boucher. And finished off by Boucher. <laughs> Crashes the glass with authority, then puts it back strong. Next level, man. This guy's just going out and making a play. Now here's Fultz. Five to shoot. Uses the glass on the layup. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. The rebound by Carter. Magic shooting great so far. 52% on the fourth. Such a wide open look. Hampton's got five points now in the quarter. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Toronto's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Takes the three. And Fultz pulls it down. Fultz has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. Oh, man, exploding to the rim. Yep, makes the simple play. What a knobby shot is good. Watanabe. Assist goes to Malachi Flynn. Orlando's gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Down low, here's Brasdakis. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Fires from the wing. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Orlando has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. And it's the Raptors with the ball. Pass to Boucher. Up again, the rebound by Carter. The Magic shooting an efficient 57% tonight. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Wagner's gone 6 of 7 from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Here's Boucher. Can't hit that one. Oh, nice D from Carter. Here's Hampton. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Chris Boucher. First team foul. At the line for the Magic, R.J. Hampton. Taking two shots. Shoot two. That free throw misses. Young, he's checked in for Toronto. And he's good on the second. 
Toronto's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Boucher. Played it in with a nice Let's touch Boucher. off the window. Boucher's got four points now in the quarter. And Orlando shooting 58% from the floor. Terrific here in the fourth. Here's Hampton. Oh, rejected by Boucher. Up top, Young. He's checked by Carter. Young misses. Orlando has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. And it's slammed in by Carter. I don't know what's going on with Carter tonight, but something has him motivated in a major way. And they'll ride him for as long as they can. Flynn, offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Young can't hit. Orlando has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Raptors. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And looking at their record now, tonight's win gives them 45 on the year. They were well prepared coming in and showed a real competitive streak. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Fred Van Vliet. This guy has been shot making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. The Magic making a switch here. Oh, Kiki's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. 102 left in the fourth quarter here. From down in the low post, it goes. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. Here's Boucher. Hey, now five for eight, shooting a pretty good percentage right now. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Okiki. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Well, they needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. And Toronto calls time here. They're ahead by 25. There's 38 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Fred Van Vliet. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together, and we'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. Here's Watanabe. No good. A bit long that time. 
Here's Brasdakis. He gets it in there. Yes, I mean, they were shying away from a foul there. The D still has to be a little bit more physical than that. He's got to feel you. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Magic now. Here's Hampton, covered by Boucher. Outside Fultz. Wagner up top. It's Hampton on the wing. Clock at six. And he comes up with a bucket. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. So no problem for Toronto as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Fred, no surprise, a great defensive showing tonight. What is it that makes this team so suffocating at that end of the floor? Well, I think we're getting pretty good effort from each guy individually. I think we're finding our package defensively as a, as a team, uh, as a coaching staff, and just kind of gelling and, and putting together individual game plans from the coaches and trying to execute it. No doubt. Thanks, Fred. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.